What? Seriously? <laughs> okay, sure, fine. I mean, I guess, you know, now I think about it, there probably wouldn't have really been a practical way for them to do that in VR. After Alderaan is destroyed, pilots of the Rebel Alliance fight for galactic freedom. Meanwhile, the fearless TIE pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. Oh! Okay, I was a little worried at first. Now that's definitely in VR. Oh, there's a- why would you put the cursor on the- okay. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, I see. I thought I was just picking voices based on what sounds most like me, but I don't know, I guess maybe this is implying that the voice lines might even be different, because these seem to be pretty personality-based. All right, hang on, give me a second. Try not to get in my way. They won't know what hit him. Not too big a fan of the voice, unfortunately. I like the backstory, but... I want my Empire soldier to be more of an upper-class, nasally kind of voice, you know. Oh, yes, I do believe I'll be blasting some rebel scum out of the skies today. Yes, quite. I am an unexpected variable. Ooh, now see that. <laughs> Perfect. What? Oh, th boo. 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 You're no fun, game. Boo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes, it took it. Ha <laughs> ha. Say hello to Regis A. Tingleberry's Esquire. Okay, and now for our rebel. Uh, well, none of these guys look even remotely like me. I guess this one's technically closest. Oh, whoops. <laughs> wow, I totally didn't even, I, I didn't even realize that. The, the padding on the clothing is so thick. I literally thought it was just thicker and thinner body type because I was only looking at them and not the picture. Interesting that you can mix and match. It's very LGBTQ friendly, I guess. Well, you know what? I guess we'll, uh... It's an honor. Yours, not mine, obviously. I guess we'll stick with Hot Shot? I guess? And out of all of these, that seems to sort of best match this guy. I mean, I'm, I, I realize that's profiling, okay? I get it, but it just seems like it fits really well. Pilot. Just watch me. It's the douchey... Bieber wannabe swooshy hairstyle that really sells it, to be honest. Okay, I was so stuck on this one that I actually had to look up a site for, like, names. <laughs> and, uh, so where's... I, I, I landed on Cameron early. His name is gonna be Cameron Ragey. Because Ragey apparently means well-mannered baby, which is exactly what he sounds like. To me, at least. Don't don't overthink it. I clearly already have. I've done quite enough overthinking for one of us. Let's just get into it. Oh, interesting. You can make it more immersive by going instruments only. I'm going to assume I want standard for now, but we may play around with that later. Uh, well, I mean... I would... Uh, I would like to think I'm good enough to play this on what I'm assuming is essentially hard mode. Easy, medium, hard, and nightmare. So, we'll, st we'll start with this, and if I die spectacularly too many times, then maybe we'll turn it down later. Okay, this is either gonna go really well or really badly. Because I, I have an actual- I didn't mention this earlier. I have an actual joystick and throttle plugged in to play this, because I've, I've had these for Elite Dangerous forever. But, as of yet, they don't seem to be responding. So, uh... This could be real interesting. As I've heard you're supposed to be able to play this on a joystick and throttle, but the optimization on this game for PC has not been great so far. Alderaan shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. That's not a real great Vader impression, I'm gonna be honest. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. 
do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. That guy sounds more like James Earl Jones than Vader does. Heading to Foster Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma 9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my ah, there he is, Lord Tingleberries no, I'm himself. The, order. the convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Another victory is at hand. Whoa. Ho 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 ho. Oh, that's cool. Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Easy, easy with the mouse. What the? F what the? Wait a minute. Is that Vader's personal fighter? What is that doing up there? For those of you at home, uh, there has been about an hour and a half of various setup and uh, compatibility issues and customization that were kind of causing the hype train to stall en route, but you may now consider us fully full steam ahead once again. Okay, okay, all right, uh, we're back in it. It's been about another hour and a half of just trying to customize my controls and figuring out uh, what everything does. And I'm pretty sure the cable on my joystick might be dying because it keeps fading in and out of consciousness here. So, yee, this one, this one may be a little rough. Okay, all right, okay, okay, whew! <laughs> This has probably only been like five minutes on you guys' end, and poor Lucas has like three hours of footage to sort through here, probably by now. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, all right, apparently moving the mouse. Oh! It was also a little rough. Oh! Oh my god. Holy... <laughs> this is so ridiculously cool. Begin pre-flight checks. Whoa. Pilot, boot up your cockpit systems. Affirmative. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Let's get a clean 
clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. Okay. Forward sensor, online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh. oh my god. Alright, these controls are very, very sensitive. The rest of the fleet is back from Malastare. We'll have plenty of help to deal with that convoy of sympathizers. Helix Squadron, we're prepping your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Call me Vigilance. All pilots, follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate flight controls. Certainly. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, God! Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. Yep, yep. I got you. <laughs> From inside, you forget how big our Star Destroyers really are. Oh, are we gonna do a flyby? The shields won't harm us. Flying so close to the hull is no time to get careless. Ooh, oh, you can see the shields! You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I know I'm not talking much right now as far as commentary. I'm just sort of soaking in the experience here. I'm sure if you're watching, if you're a new viewer, you've probably seen other people do VR and you know them. You'll, like, you'll hear people say all the time that the video doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. This is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Distance helix. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. Hmm. Wow. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Tie pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. Oh, did you hear that? There was a little vroom as we passed through the shield. Good. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The Vigilance reports our Gazanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Okay. Yeah, don't... Don't appear to be able to boost... Yeah. down below yet. the Gazanti so its locks can engage. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, easy. Easy. Oh, oh. That wasn't even... That was barely anything. I already figured that out. Thank you, game. <laughs> Helix Squadron are docked and clear for hyperspace jump. Remember, Helix, we'll have support, but finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Light issue for some reason it's reading the dead zone on my stick wrong so I'm having to pull back slightly on the flight stick to maintain a straight course. 
which is messing with my muscle memory a little bit. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix that between this episode and the next one. Oh. Carrier's moving into position. Blockade is forming up. Our rear guard is secure at least. Interesting. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Yes. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, I see. It's this one. Alright, cool. They did a really good job making this HUD highlight stuff, like, in 3D space, appropriately. Like the little comms from the tower showed up on the actual tower over there. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Time froze for a second there. To scan an unknown ship or object, face it and tap the targeting button to target it. Then approach. Your scan will automatically... Oh, your scan will begin automatically when you're facing the target and within one kilometer. So that's basically just like a little dangerous thing. Oh, that sounds like somebody shitting their pants knowing they're about to be discovered. See? We're loyal. I swear. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> no sign it's from Alderaan. Keep looking. Right? Uh, I'm fully in character as an Imperial pilot, I guess, being immediately suspicious of everyone. Check that ship next. Check another ship. So you're not impounding my ship? Uh, there. A ship's uh, trying to flee from a simple inspection. We should teach them some manners. God damn it, my joystick! Bring your weapon systems online. Ugh. Really not a good time for my joystick to crap out again. Sensors and fire a small volley. Uh, Just enough to damage them. Okay, right. Let's see if they're hiding the refugees. Okay, need to find them on my sensor. There. there, 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 okay, all right. Oh, now that fucking, now the dead zone's busted, okay, it's, it's that, it's that. Hang on, I know what's doing that now. Emergency maintenance, emergency maintenance. Someone, someone send a support ship. My controls aren't working. Fuck, this has never happened before, I swear to God. Ah, oh, why? Please. Yep, I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. How did you let them slip through your fingers? Because my fucking controls aren't working! Four plus years of playing Elite Dangerous with no issues, and my joystick picks today to start crapping out. Unfucking real. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I figured it out. The other the other end of the connection was loose too. That's probably what was causing it. Okay. We're good. And it's not pulling up and down anymore. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. And yeah, that is clearly an alliance ship. Well, okay then. Oh my god. This is so cool. and a cargo of spice. Let the fleet handle those smugglers. We should get to the station. Right? Whoa. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> My customers are legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots oh. unless they're prepared for return fire. Oh and boy. Know that. Oh, do, wait a minute. Do I seriously have to be that close? These will recharge faster and hit harder. Okay, got it. Whoa. Oh boy. Not ideal. 
Yeah, no. Nope. You right. Getting shot at. Not ideal. The defense capability is dropping. Keep going. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Okay. So I have an onboard repair kit of some kind. I'm guessing that's on a cooldown. All right, and that's my health over there on the right. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Could you stop? Stop shooting me! Mm -hmm. Do a barrel roll. Do a evasive maneuver of your choice. Jesus, the controls are so sensitive. Can I repair myself again yet? Okay, yes. Okay, I see that little green gauge right there is my repair capability. That should do. Good shooting, pilot. Okay. Our reputation will never recover from this. Captain Javes, I think I found where the refugees are hiding. On our way. Pilot with me. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You guys probably can't tell, but that like that little objective marker is closer to me than the rest of my HUD. It's like it's floating uh, I wanna say like a foot and a half in front of my face. Whereas everything else is like a good two or three feet away. Oh we hi. By the way. Okay, yep, I see baddies on my scanners. Oh, boy, all right, so they are here. And I just tried to fire something that I don't have. They must be protecting the convoy. Defend yourselves if necessary. I'll look for the refugees. Oh, oh, he's not feeling good. He is hurting. He's hurting. Okay. Gotcha. Some starfighters like X-Wings have regenerating shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage their hull. Got it. Whoop. Oh, your aiming reticle turns from white to red. Your shot will hit the target. Watch how the enemy is moving and lead the target to land a perfect shot. Okay. Unless, of course, they're not moving at all. In which case, see you, you rebel scum. These guys, uh... Yeah, I think these guys might be having joystick issues, too. Dude, I've been there. I feel for you. You know, I just realized, uh, I'm really used to playing Elite Dangerous with gimbaled weapons where as long as I'm looking in their general direction, my weapons automatically lock on on their own, so no wonder this feels real difficult. <laughs> I've been playing on easy mode for my entire career so far. What are- what is your issue, dude? Like, these guns are ever so slightly gimbaled, like they've got like two or three degrees of aim assist. But it's not much. All rebel targets destroyed. Captain, the rebel fighters are coming from that tunnel through the station. The refugee convoy must be hiding in there. After them. We'll deal with you later, Ooh. station master. Oh, trench run? You attack my station and customers, then blame me. The convoy. Ah. Oh, I'm ready. You best believe I'm. Uh oh. Mm, mm, mm. Disabled. All systems down. Those were iron missiles. Where the hell did they come from? I'm sorry, Teresa. After all the run, I can't ignore what the Empire's become. You Sir. motherfucker. Linden, what are you saying? That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Damn it! Pilot, see if you can bypass his shutdown. Oh, you bet your ass. What? <laughs> no, not right. There we go, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Lieutenant Carroll to the Vigilance. Captain Javes is aiding the Rebellion. 
Daka 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 Come back here, bitch. Mm, it's okay. He can't hit me if even I don't know what I'm doing. You won't stop me. Whoop. Okay. Well, my microphone just fell over for no reason and punched me in the shoulder. So well, that's fine. Oh, oh, okay. I just, I'm a little toasty. Uh, we'll just. No, let me keep going. God damn it. I could have, mm, I could have had him. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we're I guess we're on the rebel side now, yeah. Ooh, all right. Oh, and look, well, imagine that a ship where you can actually see FOV in those Tie Fighters really does suck ass. Also, already like the maneuverability of the X-wing a little better. Echo leader here, Admiral. Any luck pinpointing that distress call? Hopefully. You may need to get creative. Make sure your fighters are in good shape. Understood, sir. Echo, prepare for systems check. Coming back around, squadron. On me. So much for a quiet patrol. Starting systems check. Sure thing. Okay. How does one run a systems check exactly? Ah, okay, I see. Boy, all right, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve to that, then the HUD is different. Systems check complete. In formation. Echo 3, matching formation. Echo 2, standing by. Echo 5, standing by. On your way. Okay, squadron. Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U-Wing for resupply. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That's the support ship, right? Like, people can actually- you can actually fly those if you're playing in, like, multiplayer. I recognize that. The guy that's voicing Akbar is the guy who does like the narration for the Clone Wars series and stuff. Clone troopers unite as war rages across the galaxy. Squadron, join the first wave and head to the rendezvous point. This had to happen while well, half the fleet's away. Prepping hyperdrive. Oh yeah, that's right. X-wings can jump to hyperspace by themselves. Oh, apparently I was upside down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, son of a bitch. We're here. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. With the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. It's risky, but flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. Steady. Hold. Their scanner's really that bad? Now, fire all boost thrusters. 
Rangers. Okay. Yep. Nope, nope, I don't, mm, don't, don't like it. Do not like. Give me more boost. Wait, so am I about to have to fight myself? Okay, I'm guessing this is I'm guessing this is my missiles. Oh, oh you're so screwed. Alright, and that's a targeting computer locking on. Nice. Wow. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm not talking much, but this takes a, this actually takes a surprising amount of focus. I don't need no goddamn missiles. I don't need no missiles to finish you off. Come back here, bitch. I couldn't let the Empire destroy more innocents from all around. In the name of yeah. security. So you told the Empire where to stick it? You could say that. Oh, okay, my forward shields are not doing so hot. How about we give it some repairs? Okay, repairs. Repairs do seem to recharge my shields as well, so that's good to know. And that's his health right there. So this dude is at 86%. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mostly just overcoming the learning curve at the moment. Holy sh... Oh, tagged him. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh! Uh, okay. Okay, I can target my attacker. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm, I, I, I'm still getting shot at. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nope, nope. Not a fan. Oh, and my. Okay, no, I was gonna say, it looks like my gauges stopped working. I just wasn't targeting anybody. Okay, my shields regenerate on their own over time. Thanks. That was too close. Let's get some repairs going. Oh, and it's that's the R2 unit doing repairs on an X-wing. That's cool. I just completely flew away from the fight for no reason there. Also, I should probably Yeah, I, I had no power in systems really at all there. It was all engines, so that's probably part of why I was struggling. Who is taking pot shots at me? I do not appreciate. Ah, uh, please stop. Again, I do like the realism of the HUD. It is gonna take some getting used to, though. Oh, all right. Oh, get fucked. They'll send more ties soon. Echo Squadron, let's get in position and escort these transports. I'm right beside you. Okay. This is Admiral Akbar, the Rebel oh. Alliance. Echo Leader reports you're willing to defect. Willing and able. Then keep assisting Echo Squadron. Whoa. Okay, yeah, they are they are understandably not too happy about us doing the stuff that we're doing. Kindly stop shooting at me. You know there are other people here. Mm. No, 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 stop. Why is everyone shooting at me? Reinforcements are here. Well, that Corvette is a beautiful sight. Corvette captain, focus on the quasar. We'll mop up the ties. I'm literally just floating around trying to stay alive. Beginning to think that veteran may have been a poor choice. 
The good news is if I have all of the... If I have all of my power rerouted to shields, they really kind of seem to struggle to break through them, so... I can just kind of stall for time. I suppose there's no reason I couldn't fight back since I'm being real squirrely with the maneuvering anyway. Especially when my missiles lock on. Those I can definitely do. <laughs> See ya, <you>, bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, and when you divert full power to shields, you even get some overshield. Whoa. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, is it that fucking flagship taking pot shots at me again? God damn it. One more for me. I'm kind of just firing missiles at them at this point. I'm trying to be careful. I'm mostly just curious to see if that U-Wing will resupply me again when I run out of missiles. Oh, oh there's one. There's one. Okay. Me. Last missile. Oh, see ya. And the survey says... No, no. There does not appear to be a prompt for resupplying. All right, well, time to do it the hard way. Oh, I tagged him. Not sure if I got the kill shot on that guy, but I definitely tagged him. Okay, that's interesting. My overshield isn't regenerating anymore, but it also isn't going away, so... I can divert power to my shields for some overshield, and then leave it sit. So, the game appears to reward you for being a little dynamic with your power distribution. Oh, that's what you meant by Quasar. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, right, out of ammo. All right, we'll just hit him with the DACA. All right, easy enough. Nice work. Squadron, form up. You got it, boss. Where are you all at? For now. Let's make the most of it. Echo Squadron, bring the convoy and Linda here to a safer position. We're on it. Admiral. I know how this Imperial fleet operates. I can tell they're prepping their capital ships for an attack right now. We need backup. Alright, I'll send you the rest of Echo Squadron with everything they've got. Heading towards a Star Destroyer. Again. Facing its turrets this time. It's okay, our fleet's coming. Oh, well, okay, yep. Alright, so they are. Now at your location. Echo Squadron. Keep the convoy safe while the flagship engages the vigilance. Leave it to us. Wait. The Empire's sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. We have to take that raider down. Pilot, with me. Oh. Whoa. Wait, what? I definitely bound everything. What the hell? Most in range. Get ready. Whatever, I'm just gonna shoot it. Got it. 
Okay, just making sure I had the shot. Oh, I am instantly dead. Okay, yeah, in retrospect, it was probably pretty stupid to just hold completely still there. Okay, just gonna try to go for some real fancy fucking flying here. Jesus, decking Christ. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We're not fine. We're not fine. Who's who the fuck is who they who is shooting at me? God damn it! God, fuck it, dick. Fuck ah. Right. Pull up. Oh, yeah, okay, now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay, yeah, no, 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 okay, flying right past the nose where all the turrets can easily see me was uh, was a pretty dumb move right there. Still sort of, we're figuring it out, we're figuring it out, we're piecing together the strat. Fuck your sensors in particular. What the f- oh, I'm just instantly dead again! Okay, well, yeah, clearly we need to fucking- Shut up! Oh, really? Requires me to reload from this from the most recent checkpoint, does it? Hmm, it's almost as if dying also does that. Thereby, there would be no need for you to tell me that. But sure, fine, rub it in. Oh, wow, that's- it has a lot less health as well. I thought that the difficulty just meant I was taking more damage, but- Oh, fuck you in particular, I guess. See. That's it. Vigilance's targeting is down. All convoy vessels, prep for light speed jump. Echo Squadron, withdraw and handle any fighters near the convoy. Yep. It did it. Now both of you get clear. Yep, I'm just being real squirrely, so my boost has time to charge. Leaving. You saved a lot of innocent lives. Oh, damn, okay. We're going, we're going all end game up in this. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia Sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their Empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the New Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Well, hot damn. <laughs> Okay, wow, that's, I'll tell you what, that's a hell of an experience. Clearly, I need to spend some time getting good before we continue the series here, if there's like a, if there's a place where I can just fly around and shoot bots or something, but, oh, what the, f what the fuck, oh, yeah, that's right, my other mic fell over. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for watching this first episode of Star Wars Squadrons, just, wow. I mean, this this is this is a hell of an experience. <laughs> this, 
so far, Elite Dangerous uh, is the only thing that's ever come close to being this awesome in VR. It's definitely different. Um, like I say, it's going to take me a little while to overcome the learning curve, but um, the skill ceiling on this game is crazy high. I can tell you that much already. So I'm definitely looking forward to continuing uh, this game and turning it into a series. We'll, we'll probably keep playing through the story, even though I've heard that it's kind of lackluster, um, just so I can keep trying to get better at this more than anything else. And then maybe we'll go into like some, uh, some like, uh, I've heard there's like full scale, uh, fleet versus fleet battles, um, uh, kind of like in the OG Battlefront 2 days. So that'll definitely be fun to try. And you can play either against other players or against bots. Um, so I've got a lot of ideas for videos in this game. If you are looking forward to that and would like to see more Squadrons content, please help me out by leaving a like on the videos. That's the best way to support the channel. And uh, if you want to be notified when more videos in this series come out, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. As always, you can feel free to chat with me in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Catch you later.